the JAMA Network. Jennifer Heft is no stranger to breast cancer. Her mom and younger sister were diagnosed and successfully fought the disease. When it actually happens to you, it's a little different. <laughs> scarier, definitely scarier. Jennifer received her diagnosis last March. It was a very small tumor. It was only an eight millimeter tumor that couldn't be felt. But it was detected after she underwent a 3D mammogram. 3D mammography was FDA approved about three years ago. And so it's been used in practice across the country. We look to see whether it improved upon some of the limitations that the standard 2D mammogram has been criticized for. Dr. Sarah Friedewald from Advocate Lutheran General Hospital and co-authors examined 2 and 3D mammograms from more than 450,000 patients at 13 sites across the country. We found invasive cancers, or the cancers that we worry about, the ones that could potentially kill people, more frequently in women who had the 3D mammogram versus the women who just had the 2D mammogram. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. At the same time, fewer people had to come back for unnecessary testing, and which creates unnecessary anxiety. Watch what appears as Dr. Friedewald examines this standard 2D mammogram and then views the same image in 3D. A mass that has irregular borders in the upper part of the breast. And this is very much typical of what a cancer looks like, uh, hidden on the 2D mammogram, but very well seen on the 3D mammogram. I truly, truly believe that the 3D mammography is what got my cancer early and is allowing me to pretty much live my life the way I want to. Which includes spending more time with her family, driving a race car, and something she's already done, riding in a hot air balloon. Life is short, my life's gonna be long and full, uh, and I'm gonna go out and do the things I want to. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.